Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you a lick commonly played by Sonny Stitt, a great bebop saxophone player. I first heard this lick in a 1959 album, Sonny Stitt Sits In With The Oscar Peterson Trio, where he uses it quite often. The lick is based off of a C diminished 7th chord, and I'm talking saxophone key here, so whether you're playing alto or tenor, or barry or whatever. So the chord is C, E flat, G flat, and B double flat, or A. So knowing how to play that up and down will help a lot when you're learning the lick. What he's doing is he's starting on the F sharp, or the G flat of the chord, and what he's doing is he's playing a note, going up a half step, going back to the original note, then going down a whole step. So if we start on the F sharp, so F sharp, G, F sharp, E, and then he jumps up to the next note of the chord, which is the A, and he does the same thing. So he plays F sharp, G, F sharp, E, A, A sharp, A, G, then C, C sharp, C, B flat, E flat, E, E flat, C sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, and then the A again, and then the C again, and then he resolves on the F on that F note. And then on the last one, a common thing he uses is uh, so he resolves going from the B flat to the A to the F again. That's how he resolves it. So, start on a note, go up a half step, go back to the original note, go down a whole step. That's what the formula for this lick is. And he does that on the notes of the C diminished 7th chord. I'll post a link with the sheet music on it if you want to check that out. This lick works really well over a 2-5-1 and F, so if you have a bar of G minor, a bar of C7, and then resolving to the F, it could work really well over that. Sonny also uses variations of the lick over multiple different things, especially on that album Sonny Stitt with the Oscar Peterson trio. If you know of other situations where it'll work, let us know in the comments. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Till then, that's all for now. Thank you.